Thank you, Dale, and good evening, everyone. A number of former Brightwood College students impacted by its closing this week were on the Del Mar College West Campus this morning trying to get their educational careers back on track. The sudden closure on Wednesday left many of them asking a lot of questions. Chris 6 News reporter Jeremiah Marshall tells us Del Mar College is hoping to have some answers. Del Mar College held the first of two special group advising sessions for the hundreds of Brightwood College students now hoping to continue their studies. It's just been crazy. It's been a crazy couple of days, but I'm trying to stay optimistic and hopefully this works out. And Del Mar, they've been really helpful with all of the assistance that they're offering. Students met with a team of admissions staff and other advisors who were ready to answer any questions they had, such as financial aid. Those who plan to enroll at Del Mar also began the process of finding out how many of their credits and classes will transfer. These former Brightwood students have already made major sacrifices to get their degrees. They still have hope. I quit my job to be a full-time okay, student so at Brightwood, so I'm devastated, but it's not going to stop me from um, completing what I started. Most of these students were enrolled in nursing programs. Del Mar College has a nursing program, but space is limited. We've got, looks like about 200 students here that we are looking at ways to help them get back on track. Jeremiah Marshall, Chris, 6 News. Del Mar College will hold another advisory session at the Emerging Technologies Building on the West Campus Monday, beginning at 5.30 p.m. Well, Southern Careers Institute is also reaching out to the students impacted by the closing. Staff held an informational meeting last night at their Airline Road Campus. Now, close to 30 students showed up. Other students are encouraged to make an appointment with the Institute and find out what classes may transfer and what financial aid is available. Southern Careers Institute will have another informational meeting on Wednesday. That one will be had a will be at 5 p.m.